So is the MX Vertical worth it? Here's my review after nine months of owning it. Yo, what's good everybody? It's your boy Toyan Kim. And for those of you that are new to this channel, I'm a software engineer at a fang company up in Silicon Valley that makes content on tech, personal finance, and everything in between. And for today's video, I'm gonna be going over the MX Vertical after nine months of using it. And as a software engineer, I use a mouse and computer every single day of my life, probably for roughly 16 to 18 hours, basically almost every waking hour that I have on most days. So I have been going through this like crazy and using it every single day for work and for personal uses. And I wanted to go over some thoughts after nine months of using this device. By the way, at any point in this video, if you are interested in purchasing the MX Vertical, I'm gonna be including an affiliate link down below where you can purchase the mouse. It is an affiliate link like I just mentioned. So if you do purchase through that link, I do get a little bit of financial support. So if you wanna support the channel, feel free to buy through that affiliate link down below. So I purchased the MX Vertical back on May 28th, 2020. Jeez, sounds like a lifetime ago, back when the pandemic first hit. Do you know what I miss? It's precedented times. As we all know, tech ages sometimes really well and sometimes it ages really poorly. And because my first video that I made about the MX Vertical was after roughly four months of use and because I filmed it on a potato, I wanted to refilm it again and talk about any th new things that I've learned over the past nine months of owning it and see is it still worth it or not and do I plan to switch from this mouse anytime soon. So in my first video, the three main things that I mentioned that I really like were the build quality, the gestures, and the ergonomics of the device. So first, let's talk about the build quality of the device. I've been super impressed with the build quality of the mouse and I haven't found any signs of wear and tear even after using it for roughly 14 to 16 hours every single day for the past nine months. I'm a pretty hardcore and heavy user and there does not seem to be any type of scuffs or paints chipping off or any types of visible wear and tear on the device. So I've been really impressed by the build quality on it. And this shouldn't come as any surprise. Logitech is known for having very, very high quality products and they didn't skip any edges when it comes to the M vertical as well. I love the device. I've been thoroughly impressed by the build quality and how it's been able to withstand constant use every day for the past nine months. So I actually found an old MX Master lying around the house and I tried using it again after like seven to eight months of using the MX vertical. And I gotta say, man, the MX Master is really not that ergonomic. Maybe I'm just being like super dramatic when I say this, but honestly, when I use the MX Master, I could feel my forearms crippling. I was like, oh, the pain, the strain is too much. But really that subtle extra pronation of your forearm and wrists that you have to do to use the MX Master versus the much more natural handshake position that you have with the MX Vertical is a really, really big difference. And I found that I have significantly less fatigue when I use the MX Vertical compared to a more traditional mouse or even a trackpad as well. And I know that before I bought like ergonomic equipment, I'm like, bro, these ergonomic people, they're kind of crazy. Like it can't make that much of a difference. But uh, as a former hater myself, I will say that I don't know, the ergonomics are pretty noticeable. So if you're looking for a more ergonomic option because you're getting a lot of wrist or forearm fatigue, I'd highly recommend getting a vertical moss and specifically the MX Vertical. By the way, if you've been enjoying the content up until this point, please consider hitting that like button. It's super low effort, but it really helps out the channel and spread this video out to other people who might be interested in the same content. So, all right, so the third thing that I wanted to talk about is the gestures because the gestures are really what makes the MX Vertical so much better than other standard vertical mouses. Mice? Mouses? mice out there. As a Mac user, I am addicted to my trackpad and the gestures that it comes with, like the three finger swipe up, the three finger swipe to the side, pulling in the notification panel, all of those features, I use them every single day on my trackpad. But the trackpad is not that ergonomic and I really wanted to use this MX vertical mouse, but I was worried about the support for all of these gestures. But with Logitech's gesture support, you can map all of these functions onto your mouse and you literally lose zero functionality moving from the trackpad to your mouse. And on the note of gesture support on the MX Vertical. I remember when I was first deciding between the MX Master and the MX Vertical that some of the biggest selling factors of the MX Master were the horizontal scroll wheel as well as that super fast and adaptive scroll wheel that it has. And I remember I was thinking like, ah, oh, like are these features like really that important? Like, is it worth it? But I gotta say that it's not. And the reason for that is because I have actually mapped the horizontal scrolling feature as a gesture on my MX Vertical. And the way I do it is that as long as I hold the back button and I move left or move right, it then scrolls horizontally horizontally. And also with regards to the super fast, like I think it's almost like hyperspeed scrolling that Logitech advertises on the MX Master. Like maybe I just have like a really strong finger, take that as you will, but I can actually just scroll through really huge files very, very quickly with the scroll wheel on the MX Vertical. Like there has literally never been a time where I was like, 
man, I wish I could scroll faster. Like even when I'm scrolling through like thousands of lines of code, this is plenty fast for me. So once again, for me, I really think that the MX Vertical is a much better purchase than the MX Master because you get that same great gesture support, but you get it with a much more ergonomic package. All right, Tolian, that's cool and all, but tell us, is this still your full-time mouse or are you gonna switch sometime soon? Well, I'm happy to say that I have zero intentions to switch from the MX Vertical or purchase any other mouse in the future. I am so happy with the MX Vertical, even after nine months of using it. Everything that I loved about it in the very beginning, I still love it to this day. So if you've been on the fence of whether the MX Vertical is worth it or not, I highly recommend that you get it and you will not regret that purchase. As a power user who uses this mouse almost every single day, I think that you can trust my judgment when I say that the MX Vertical is an awesome mouse and most likely it is going to be one of the best mice that you use. It's ergonomic, it's super powerful with all the gesture support that it has and it's super well built as well. And I really don't think that the MX Master is that much better than the MX Vertical for you to sacrifice the ergonomics that the MX Vertical offers. All right, well, that is my updated review of the MX Vertical after nine months of using it. It was dope before and it's still dope now. So definitely check it out if you're interested. All right, well, thank you once again for watching today's video. And if you enjoyed the content, feel free to hit that like button and also feel free to subscribe if you wanna see more of my content. Once again, thanks so much for watching today's video and I'll see you in the next one.